Congratulations on the purchase of your Transmotion TMM3 stretcher chair. Let's take a closer look at the TMM3 and safe operation. The main features of the chair include arm rails, a quick release back section, caster braking system, quick change battery, push bar, foot rest, pendant positioning, and a seat lock knob. The braking system is activated by pressing the red and down. In this position, all casters are locked. The steer lock system is activated by pressing the green end down. When activated, the caster on the patient's right foot will lock parallel to the base and the caster will still roll. The other three casters will swivel and roll freely. In the neutral mode, the brake pedals are in a horizontal position. All casters are able to swivel and roll freely. To lower the arm rail, grasp the top of the arm rail and push in slightly while pulling out on the rail release tab. Once the arm rail latch is deactivated, the arm rail can be lowered into the down position under the seat. Once under the seat, push in on the arm rail to engage the arm rail retainer. To raise the arm rail, simply lift up on the arm rail until it's in the up position. The arm rail latch will engage automatically. Remember to pull on the arm rail after it's raised to ensure that it's locked securely. For safe patient ingress and egress, ensure the patient enters and exits the chair from the side. Once in the seated position, move the side rail into the lock position. The multiple chair positions are controlled at the press of a button. Each position can be separately controlled. The first row of buttons on the pendant control the back section recline level. Press the left button to raise the chair back or the right button to lower the back as indicated by the arrows. The second row of buttons on the pendant control the leg section incline level. Press the left button to raise the chair leg or the right to lower the leg section as indicated by the arrows. The third row of buttons on the pendant control the height of the chair. Press the left button to raise the chair or the right button to lower the chair as indicated by the arrows. The fourth row of the buttons on the pendant control the simultaneous activation of the leg and back sections. Press the left button to raise the chair leg and lower the back, putting the chair in a flat position. Press the right button to lower the leg and raise the back section. The pendant has a universal clip that attaches to the arm rail or chair back for easy storage and access. The TMM3 90 degree rotating seat lets you easily take both lateral and anterior posterior images. Make sure the patient is in the full upright position and belts are secured. For the lateral view, lower the side rails. Roll the chair into the RF tower. Lock the brakes and use the pendant to position the patient at the appropriate height. Now you're ready for the lateral view. For the AP view, unlock the brakes and roll the patient from the RF tower, then lock the brakes. Raise the chair to its maximum height. Release and lower the push bar. Next, pull the seat lock knob located at the back of the chair and rotate the chair counterclockwise until it locks into place. Unlock the brakes and roll the chair into the RF tower. And now you're ready for the AP view. For safe patient transfer, you'll need to attach the back extension accessory. This is essential for safe patient transport. Lift the end of the footrest until it engages in the stored upright position. The footrest should be stored in this position when not being used. Simply push down on the footrest to disengage and lower it for use. The TMM3 chair back is radiolucent for imaging purposes. The manual quick release quickly moves to a stretcher position when emergency situations arise. To lower the push bar, grasp the push bar tube while pulling out on the red release knob. 
lower the push bar into the down position. To raise and lock the push bar, lift up on the push bar tube until it's in the up position. The locking knob will engage automatically. The chair comes with two high capacity batteries and one wall mount charger. While one battery is on the chair, the other is charging. This provides continuous power for the chair when needed. The pendant light will change from green to amber, letting you know that approximately 25% of battery life is remaining. When it's time to charge batteries, it's a good practice to put the chair back up for easy access to the battery. Charging the battery is simple. Lift to unclip from the chair and slip the replacement onto the battery charger and push to lock it in place. The charging process will begin automatically. The battery will be completely charged when the indicator light on the charger turns green. Place the fully charged battery back on the chair. To remove the battery pack from the chair, grasp the integrated handle on the battery pack and pull back until the locks disengage. Then pull the battery pack away from the mounting bracket. To install the battery pack on the chair, place the two circular pins located on the back of the battery pack into the square openings on the battery mounting bracket. Once they are in place, slide the battery pack down until the locks are engaged. Charge your TMM battery for 8 hours or until the green light indicator appears to ensure an optimum charge is achieved. Rotate batteries from charger to chair every 2 to 3 days to maintain an optimum charge on the batteries. A custom short wheelbase that is 26 inches or 66 centimeters for RF towers with steel plates mounted on the floor is also available. Key accessories include a back extension, IV pole, oxygen tank holder, and more. Transmotion by Winco. One patient, one surface, from admission to discharge. To speak to a representative, visit us at wincomfg.com.